Hey, what's up guys? It's the TechnoTuber. I'm happy to see you again. And today I'm going to talk about Siri, specifically what it's going to be like when it loses the beta status. So when it comes to talk about things like that, um, the usual two questions are what is going to be added, improved, changed and everything, and when is it is going to be done and released. So I'll try to answer both of these questions in this video. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So Siri is a personal voice assistant which is on every iPhone 4S and it's probably going to be ported on the iPad 3 as well. And what you can do with it is you can ask it to send you a message, you can ask it for weather calculations, schedule events, reminders, uh, setting alarms and everything like that. So it will probably be brought to the iPad 3 as well because it's something of the next generation and the iPhone 4S already has it. So it just gotta be there. So for now, Siri can only speak three languages, which is French, German, and English, which is the British accent, Australian accent, and the US accent. However, a lot of people are upset that Siri doesn't speak their language, but Apple has already named uh, languages that Siri will learn in 2012, including the following, which is including, you know, it's not only the languages that Siri is going to learn in 2012, so it's the Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Italian, and Spanish. Um, what I guess is that there are going to be languages like Russian, Portuguese, and Arabic as well. And probably some more accents for English um, language, such as Scottish or Irish. But not only can Apple add new languages, it can also add new locations that Siri uses to find places such as restaurants, bars, hotels, stores, gas stations, and all of that good stuff. So now let's talk about some bugs and improvements that Apple can uh, fix or add with the new Siri. I mean, not with the new Siri, but with the full version of Siri. So, for example, sometimes I'm just unable to correct Siri. Um, it understood something wrong, and I just can't correct it because the keyboard doesn't pop up, which is something weird. Maybe it's because I have several keyboards. Tell me, guys, if you also have the problem, uh, if you have several keyboards. Apple can also add the ability to write messages in French while speaking English. What I mean by that is that I have several friends that speak French and I also speak French so uh, sometimes I just want to write a message um, in French but the actual command like write a text message I want to tell it in English but the message we could just tell something uh, write in French and then dictate something in French so I think you understand what I mean. I've also noticed that there are some alarm problems, such as this one, as I'm showing you right here. Um, I asked Siri uh, what alarms I have for uh, the next morning, and it just said there are no alarms for the next morning. However, there were two of them, um, or even more, I don't remember exactly. Siri is also sometimes wrong with the weather information that it gives to me. Uh, for example, I ask if the weather is good, it tells it's good, but it's actually raining. Um, and it also shows like the cloud, however it says the weather is good. So it kind of doesn't make sense. They really need to synchronize the information with the things that Siri has. Apple can also make some of the basic commands offline, so you don't actually need to use your 3G or cellular data to use Siri. For example, make a phone call or write a message. Uh, I mean, it's really basic. I don't really think that uh, you really need internet for that. Siri could also be very well improved if Apple added to it functionalities like opening apps. For example, if you said open the mail app, Siri would open the mail app for you. Which sounds great. Turning Bluetooth on and off could also be a great functionality um, added to Siri. Because it takes um, five or even more clicks and scrolls to get to the Bluetooth option just to turn it on or off. Connecting to Wi-Fi, especially in the offline mode, would be also very handsome. An integration with the apps like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even YouTube would be great as well. For example, you could update your Facebook status by just telling it to Siri to update, or just tweeting something to Twitter without actually typing yourself. I think using Siri to access YouTube, for example, ask if there, were, if there are any new videos in your subscriptions box, uh, would be a great feature. Now let's talk about the when question. So everybody will ask uh, when do you think it's going to be all corrected, improved, changed? My answer is that it could be added during the iPad 3 event, which will be probably in March, like 90% sure it's going to be in March. It would be kind of cool if they also said uh, we also improved Siri with it so now it works even better 
And in addition, we also improved it on the iPhone 4S, which kind of makes sense because if it's improved, it's on both, right? So I really think that Siri is most likely to at be added uh, to the next generation Apple tablet. So expect the full functional Siri um, in March or just later this year with new languages, integrations, bug fixes, new locations. In overall, Siri is a win because um, first, it saves your time. You don't need to click several times to get access to an application. It also works almost perfectly. It's interesting to talk to. And also, I've been starting to hear some uh, Siri launching noises, sounds in the trains, buses, and other public transport. Uh, anyways, I thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comment about what you think is going to be added to the new Siri. Uh, do you like Siri? And some, just comment something about Siri. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to check my Facebook fan page, Twitter, Google+, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.